In this episode, we want to set up a private Pwn Adventure 3 server so we don't have to use the public server that can only handle a couple of concurrent users. The game itself also has an offline mode, so you can check out the game a little bit without any server, but to really experience the MMO game hacking part, you really wanted to talk to a server. In the description of the video you will find a couple of links. One of them is a GitHub repository that I have created listing a few options how to run it yourself. But let's first talk about the system requirements. From the official readme it is recommended to at least have 2GB of RAM and spawn only about 2-3 to three instances per CPU core. What that means we will see later. And you will also need a couple of gigabytes free disk space for the large client files. So. If you are interested in more details about the server architecture, it's probably most fun and interesting to follow the official readme or follow the guide by Antonin Bonjean. He has an easy to follow step by step guide on how to install and configure the server on Ubuntu 14 or Ubuntu 16. You will do each step by hand and you have various options to customize things. Or maybe just learn more about Linux and setting up a server in general. It's a very detailed guide, so if you install a fresh Ubuntu in a VM, you should have no problems. The other option is to use the Docker files from my repository. I wanted to learn more about Docker, so I used this as an opportunity to learn more about it and create this Docker file and the Docker Compose file together with a friend. I'm not saying it's a better option, but for some it might be a more easy option. If you already have a server with docker and docker compose, you would only have to type docker compose build and docker compose up to get it running. But also the steps to install those are simple copy and paste. I've tested this on Ubuntu 14 and Ubuntu 16 that I installed in a VM, running on VMware on my Windows host, but my actual personal server that I'm now playing with is running on this little Intel nook that another friend helped me to set up with CentOS and KVM. So I have a docker vm with Fedora running on there where I have deployed my docker files. And that's running pretty smooth. And I also tried it on DigitalOcean. And essentially all these options are the same. You just somehow need a shell, have to get docker properly installed, check the versions in case your docker throws errors, you need enough resources to make sure the machine is reachable from your game machine. So for example in your vm network settings you must want to set it to bridged or whatever you need but then you're good to go. And then you can simply follow the guide. In this example, I'm using DigitalOcean, where I select one of the cheaper plans. In case you don't know, DigitalOcean is like Google or Amazon Cloud. You can just click yourself a server for however long you want and you only pay the time you used it. The reason why I'm a DigitalOcean customer is because Amazon requires a credit card, which I didn't have for a long time. And DigitalOcean works with PayPal. That's the only reason. Anyway, after selecting a server, enabling monitoring, giving it a name, I have to wait a few seconds until it's set up and then I get an IP that I can connect to with SSH. And then I clone the GitHub repository and start the download of the client and server files contained in the pwn 3 targgz archive. It's around 1.8 gigabytes. While this is running, you can open a second shell and make sure Docker and Docker Compose is properly set up, which is just essentially following the Docker Community Edition installation guide and copy and paste the commands. For future reference, here are the versions that were working for me. Once the download is done, you can quickly verify the hashes of the file to make sure it's complete. Then unpack it with tar xvf and after that you are ready to build the docker images with docker compose build. This will definitely take a little bit and then run it with docker compose up. Then the server should be running. Keep in mind that when you now control c here, you tear down the docker container again and everything is lost. It's great for testing everything but when you want it longer running, use the minus d flag to run it in detached mode. You can then verify with docker ps and netstat if everything looks good. This means there are two docker containers, the master and game container, and that you have the docker proxy process listening on port 3333, 3000 and maybe more. Next you can try to connect with your client to it. For that you have to do two things. First is to edit your etc hosts file. That file exists on Windows, Mac and Linux. For Mac and Linux it's simply in etc hosts. For Windows it's in this path shown here. 
make sure to edit the file with root or administrator privileges. Here we enter the IP of our server and assign it the name master.3 and game.3. Those are the two host names of my default server configuration. The second thing you need to do is to modify the server in eConfig file located somewhere in the client folder. You have to replace the official host with master.3. Warning, don't use any IP here. It took me half a day to debug why my client wouldn't properly connect and once I used the host name, it worked. That's why we have to set the ECC hosts file. After that, we can launch our client and wait for all the files to be downloaded. This takes quite a while, but after that we can press play. This will close the launcher and start the actual game. Here we can select play game and if it displays the live overflow message, it worked. You are connected to the master server now. You can then register an account and after that create a character. When you press join, the master server will assign you a game server and drop you into the game. Just so you have a better understanding of how this server and client works. When you start Pwn Adventure 3 Launcher, then the launcher connects to the official server to check for updates to the client and download the files. After that, it kills itself and starts the actual game. That's very typical for games. Then the actual game will read the server.ini config file that we have modified earlier. When you now want to play, the client will connect to the master server specified in the server.ini file. So master.pwn3. And you can register an account, log in and create a character. This all still happens while connected to the master. Then when you press join, the master server selects a game server and port for you. The game server runs several instances on different ports. In this case, the game server is located on game.pwn3. So the master server will tell the client, hey, I found a free server for you, check out game.pwn3 on port 3000. If there's no game server or it's just very busy, you will see a message waiting in queue or something like that. And now that you have the game server, you connect to it and get dropped into the actual game. Anyway, the setup is essentially the same on any of the hosts. So here's my MacBook, my Linux laptop and my PC connected to the same server. Say hello. Of course, the technical details on how to hack them is different on each operating system. In case you want to customize the server settings a bit, check out the setup scripts in the Git repository. There you can change the welcome message and also the host name the server will use, as well as the amount of instances. This is what I briefly mentioned in the beginning. This spawns five game server instances and it worked on the DigitalOcean server. However, when you look at the monitoring stats, it's really at the limit. Anyway, now that we finally have everything set up, we will dive into the hacking parts next video. If you watched a little bit of the Let's Play in the last video or played the beginning yourself, you know we need a fireball to get out of this cave. But soon we will be able to do what this guy does. Just flying out the hole in the cave. It looks a bit laggy from this perspective, but whatever, flying is flying.